Jordan Mascio here with a quick tutorial on how to get your CSS running uh, if you uploaded your website through Cyberduck. So basically uh, you upload your website and it looks like this. Uh, your HTML is all there, uh, photos and everything will be there, but uh, your CSS is not uh, working at all. So without getting into too much detail, basically what's happening is you're getting a 403 error. Uh, it means that uh, the CSS file uh, doesn't have permission to run, so it doesn't run. Uh, here are the uh, numbers you need to know. Number, uh, normal file permission is 644 and uh, folder permission is 755. Why that is, we don't really care at this point. All we need to know is that the numbers are important and uh, you need to remember them. So with that, we go into Cyberduck and we load our website. Uh, for me it's under www. Uh, you go to your CSS and uh, click info, R right click and then info. And uh, here we have permissions and we see the permission is uh, 740 currently. Uh, we see that that needs to be 755. So we will click the other read here, execute and execute. And we see that as we're changing the values, uh, this number changes, and with this uh, arrangement, uh, we get the 755 value that we want. Uh, so I'm going to close this, I'm going to refresh, I'm going to go back to my web page, refresh my web page, and there you go. The CSS is uh, all hooked up to my site, my JavaScript's working. Now, your ja if you have JavaScript or fonts, uh, you may notice that they're not plugged in. That's because you have to go and uh, right-click info and enable this uh, setup for each of your files. Uh, it's likely that only your uh, HTML uh, loaded correctly, so you'll have to do this with all your files. As you can see, I already have, so just uh, do that with all your files, and uh, uh, happy web surfing.